Good afternoon. So today I'm going to do something kind of interesting. I have chicken and dumplings cooking in our crock pot at home. Everything I bought at Aldi's. We're going to compare that to the prices of some name brand prices that I would normally use for chicken and dumplings. Let's check it out. Now it is the week of Thanksgiving, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to find some of the name brand products. Uh, just to give a good price comparison. Jessica has no idea that I've bought all the chicken and dumpling stuff we need from all this. I'm gonna wait till the meal's done. I'm gonna see what she thinks, see if it tastes the same or better. See what happens. Forgot to mention before, uh, it was about $12, $11, $11.50 for everything that I needed at Aldi's for chicken and dumplings. I got the cream of chicken, wow, look at that. I got the cream of chicken at Aldi's for 50 cents. The cheapest one at Kroger here is a dollar. And they didn't have cream of celery at Aldi. So I did end up having to buy this cream of celery from Kroger. I was able to get everything I needed at Aldi, but they didn't have cream of celery. Uh, this is 99 cents. Uh, the cream of chicken I got at Aldi's, it was 50 cents. Normally what I would have bought, uh, $1.89 a can right now for the cream of chicken. They don't even have the Campbell's cream of celery right now So I'm glad I was able to at least get the Kroger brand, but as you can see that's $1.89 a can We'll just round up say four dollars for two cans of the Campbell's cream of chicken and cream of celery So I did add we already had this but I wanted to show you it's pretty much two dollars everywhere It was two dollars at Aldi's also. They don't even have the 33% less sodium of the Swanson so I'm glad we already had that. This is a smaller Kroger that I am visiting right now, and I am noticing they are out of a lot of stuff. I am at a different Kroger than I normally shop at, but I am seeing a lot of these blue stickers here. Uh, they seem like they're pretty good, you know, as far as some stuff. I'm not surprised that they're out of cream of celery. I know a lot of people use it for, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff, but they are out of the Campbell's version, and they were out of the Campbell's version at uh, two Kroger's that I visited today. So it is the day before Thanksgiving and I just wanted to point out that they still have turkeys. Uh, this video won't be out for a couple days though, so these deals will probably be gone, but they still have them, that's good to see. Okay, so here we go. This is where the savings are for real, okay? This, this looks terrible. Oh, I don't even wanna show that. <laughs> okay, so this is similar to what I bought at Aldi's. Uh, let's see. $3.99 a pound, $5.59. Now I bought, I'm not sure of what it was per pound at Aldi's, I didn't really look, um, but basically two breasts this size was $3.50. I paid $7 for two of these at Aldi's, $7. Uh, so we got four of these pieces of chicken breast for $7 at Aldi's. And uh, I'll tell you what, they might've even been a little bigger than this. This looks more, oh, this might be, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell. I've already got it all in the crock pot, so I'm trying to do this. So basically for $1.50 more, I got two extra chicken breasts. Now it's not Tyson, but this is all about trying all these brands, so we'll see how it turns out. This is kind of a new type of video for me. I wanted to kind of do an Aldi versus name brand comparison. I consider Tyson a name brand. Um, seven dollars for those two little chicken breasts seems like a terrible deal uh, i'm really thinking that the chicken and dumplings we're making is going to taste just as good or better than we've done with all the name brands so. real quick i'm not you know this is a smaller kroger this is probably the smallest kroger in the city of cincinnati uh real small lots of inconvenient stickers this is the cat food not going to stick to all this today just wanted to point it out for you guys. Cat food and dog food has been a challenge, you know, across the country. I've been getting a lot of comments on pet foods that you guys haven't been able to find. People have been leaving a lot of comments of how they make their own pet food. I think that's something that we may w want to consider in the future. It's also important to note that we are at, if it would have been double that, it would have been $12 plus four for the Campbell's, both the cans, if they had the one. So we're up to 16 plus the $2 for the broth, $16, $17, $18 already. I do cheat when it comes to the dumplings. I get the Southern Homestyle Pillsbury Grands. Um, and mind you, this is the first time that I've ever done the cheaper version of chicken and dumplings. 
Uh, but yeah, this is what I usually get, $2. They did have these at Aldi's. They were the same price, but they had their biscuits that you guys have told me to try, and it was $0.98 cents for basically the same thing. So far, we are at $20. $20 of what it would cost for the name brand here at Kroger. That's a $9 savings. Also, I'm adding a dollar because of the broth that it would have been cheaper at Aldi's, but I had to get it at Kroger. I had to get the cream of celery at Kroger because they didn't have that at Aldi's. So we're at $11.50 of what this total would have cost at Aldi's, and we are at $20 of what it would cost here at Kroger for the name brand. Okay, so the spice aisle was very backed up, but one thing we already have that is the true magic to my chicken and dumplings here is this magic seasoning blend poultry magic it's $3.99 used to be $2.99 it's gone up uh, but I'm telling you you add this to it it is magic so as far as prices go that's what it is $20 for name brand here at Kroger uh, everything used to be a little bit cheaper I'd say probably I'd be able to do it normally for $15 chicken's gone up Everything's gone up. The condensed soups have gone up. It's just crazy. Okay, so the chicken and dumplings is almost done. Real quick, I wanted to let you guys know that if you want this recipe, it's a really easy chicken and dumplings crock pot recipe. What I'm going to do, I did a video on me making this meal. Uh, it's been about a year ago, but I'll leave the link in the video description below. So that if you want to make this for yourself, really easy, really cheap meal. Um, I'll leave that in the video description below so you can check that out. It's all in the video plus in the video in that description I have the actual like recipe in the description box of that video. Did I say that right? So we're almost ready to try the chicken and dumplings from Aldi's And now for the big reveal Look at that guys. Oh It's a little warm. How's it look? Good really hot now for the truth yeah I'm only tasting a little tiny bit because it's really hot okay are you gonna tell me something weird in it or something no is it good mm -hmm. sweet sorry to catch you off guard here babe but there is a surprise in this video all these products that I bought were from Aldi's Aldi's chicken Aldi's dumplings so she was just saying, like, these biscuits taste a lot better than the other ones did. Do you notice a difference between this chicken and dumplings and any other chicken and dumplings I ever make? No. I will say that I did add an extra cup of chicken broth because we got a bigger crock pot. So I had to kind of make up for that. But she did say before that these biscuits tasted really well, good. the biscuits, I had said they taste good, that they cooked better, but I think, I don't know... If it's because of the extra, I added the broth extra broth or what. Yeah. But they don't taste bad. <clears throat> it all tastes fine. How's the chicken? Good. So this is our Aldi's versus the name brand stuff. <laughs> I got to say, I think it tastes better. It's good. I know the chicken is fantastic. That meal was fantastic. Um, we are really starting to love Aldi's. I'm looking forward to making some more meals and comparing them to other name brands and stuff. I really enjoyed making this video. Uh, chicken and dumplings is one of the one of the things that I make that Jessica loves and I love. It's a really easy meal. I did a video a while back, about a year ago, on my chicken and dumplings. Really easy meal. I'll leave that video link in the description box of this video, you can go to that. I'll also try to put the video at the end of this video so that you can just click on it and watch it. Um, it's, it's a really easy meal. It was delicious. I was very happy to find out that the chicken from Aldi's is great. It is delicious. It is a lot cheaper. Like I said, it was $20 for the name brand meal that I used to make. We'll probably be doing Aldi's from now on. Uh, as far as flavoring, there was no real difference there. Uh, the flavor's always been pretty good. But I did notice that the dumplings, the dumplings were the hit. And I think, you know, because I was, you know, I don't usually do the flour and, and make it myself, which I probably should, and it would probably be fantastic. But, you know, when you're, you know, when you got to go to work, you got to, 
you know, put it in the crock pot and just leave it. Um, you know, it takes about five hours, four hours with just the chicken and the ingredients and then the dumplings in the last hour. I will say that the dumplings from Aldi's, uh, it felt like as if I made them myself. They're a little more stickier. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. But, you know, it was, it was uh, a little harder to roll out. But when you make them yourself, uh, it's a little harder to roll out. We will be using those dumplings from now on. Um, it's great. It's delicious. We, like I said, we are really starting to love all these. The prices are just amazing. Um, looking forward to doing some other meals, you know, with, with Aldi. Uh, and we're always trying new things. It's nice to have a, a store that is new, that has, new to us, different products that we can mix stuff together and try new things, you know, because with, with rising prices today, you know, we need to try to find ways to save a few dollars and to still be able to make the meals that we love. I want to do like a big shopping video to where we buy everything at Aldi's and, and I will be doing a video on that when we go. But we have a lot of things lined up and we're trying to, you know, do a little bit at a time here with the Christmas season underway. The holidays are here. We plan on doing a lot of different holiday meals. We're going to try and uh, save you know, try and save money through Aldi's and some other places. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. This I really enjoyed doing this video because um, I, I just wanted to show how much you're really saving. You know, and, and you could say that $9 isn't that much. It really is. You know, if you add that up throughout the week, you know, if you're saving between, you know, let's just say you save $9 each meal. Well, Nine times seven is 63. So that's $63 that you're saving in a week. Uh, if, you know, and, and it'll be some more, some less, but, you know, it was really interesting to see how much you can really save. I, I was surprised, like, that condensed chicken, uh, the uh, cream of chicken at Aldi's was only 50 cents. And I thought maybe that might be the thing that, that makes the, makes it taste a little different, maybe not as good. Didn't affect it at all. Um, it was great. Thank you all so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, I am going to put the video here at the end of this video that you can click on and watch our chicken and dumpling recipe. Really easy. Uh, awesome to make. Absolutely delicious. With all that being said, I'm out. And always remember the adventure. Is out there.